my name is Audrey Johns. I founded Lose Weight by Eating two years ago. I had lost 150 pounds in just 11 months and I constantly had people asking me, how are you doing it? How are you doing it? You look so amazing. So I started this amazing blog with over 200 recipes and the whole idea is that they're not gonna be diet recipes, but they're gonna be the recipes for the food you wanna eat right now that you can't have. So here I wanna show you how to make a diet cookie taste good. You're never even gonna know that it's diet. You're gonna cut out a lot of calories and you're gonna add some nutrition. Now, everybody pretty much knows about adding smashed banana. You can add this to almost anything where you're gonna be using any kind of butter, when you're gonna be using any kind of sugar. You want to look for consistency. So if you wanna take out butter, you wanna look for something with the same consistency. If you wanna take out sugar, you wanna add look for something with the same consistency. That's what it's all about when you go to change out an ingredient to make it work for you. This includes if, you're, if you have gluten allergies, if you have food allergies, you can always switch something out to make that recipe work for you. Don't ever just say no. So we do have the bananas. I also love to use really good quality vanilla. Vanilla has so much sweetness in it, but almost no calories. So when something asks for a teaspoon of vanilla, maybe add an extra little teaspoon in and take some of the sugar out. You'll add a lot of really, really rich, amazing, heavy flavor to it without adding a lot of calories. I also love to use unsweetened applesauce. And I used to get it in the big jar and it would always go bad before I could use it. So I get these little guys and they're a half a cup and they're perfect for almost every single cookie recipe I make, I need a half a cup of this applesauce. So I use this in place of most of my sugar and most of my butter. So for instance, in the cookies I'm gonna be showing you in a minute, I've cut out half of the butter and I've cut out half of the sugar and I've added just applesauce. We also have lots of other items. Say for instance, you wanna make peach cookies, you could use peach baby food, or maybe you have something where you really don't wanna add any flavor to it, you're just looking for that consistency so you can cut down the calories. Peach baby food is perfect for that. It has almost no flavor once you bake it into something. For instance, like in my skinny waffles, we add this in, you can't even tell that we've cut any calories and they're fluffy and delicious. Same with these beautiful cherries. They're so good. I love to make cookies with dark chocolate um, chunks and cherries in it. They kind of remind me of a Cherry Garcia and I'm not eating the ice cream. I feel a little bit better about myself. Raisins, everybody loves raisins. You can also get golden raisins if you're looking for maybe something a little bit sweeter and you're sick of the same old, same old. But raisins are so, so good for you. And if something calls for a cup of raisins, go ahead and try adding a cup and a half or a cup and a quarter. This way you're cutting down the amount of calories in each cookie because you're adding more of the fruit. And you couldn't have a cookie without chocolate, right? I love chocolate and I always tell people, if I had to give up chocolate, I would still be 150 pounds heavier. I love it, it's my favorite thing. But what you wanna do is you wanna use dark chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate. It takes a lot of the calories out, it adds just as much flavor and richness. And you don't have to add quite as much. I also like to use real sugar. I have, very, very often, I'll have a cookie recipe with one tablespoon of sugar. And somebody will email me and say, can't I just go ahead and use insert artificial sugar, sugar name here. And I always tell them, for that 16 calories, is it really worth putting all those chemicals in your body? Get real sugar that's not bleached and you're gonna be doing something so much better for your body. It will thank you, I promise you. And then lastly, I love strawberries. And they're in season right now, so I have to show these to you. If you were to mash these up with a fork or even just put them in as is, small chopped, it will give you so much richness, so much fluffiness inside of your cookies. And I mean, come on, who doesn't love cherries and or strawberries and chocolate, right? Well, I do wanna show you some really, really delicious oatmeal raisin cookies that I've made. I've taken out the majority of the sugar and the majority of the butter, and I've added applesauce. So let me show you how beautiful these are. Oh, they're so good. And you can tell when you look at the bottoms, when they're just a little bit browned, that's when they're ready. I like to keep them on the cookie sheet for about 15 minutes until I can physically handle the cookie sheet because it's gonna keep radiating heat up from the bottom. These are my skinny cookies, all of my great skinny cookie ideas. Check more out at Lose Weight by Eating. And again, my name is Audrey Johns, and these are my skinny tips to eating some awesome cookies. Happy cooking. Mm -hmm.